Goodbye, guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Noble Creative Digital Marketing Agency. Trust, you're doing good. In today's video, I will be teaching you how you can design um, social media design, social media flyer. So, without wasting much of our time, we have to change a background color to a gradient color I will be introducing to you. So, let's start with the gradient color. So, you click on the gradient. So this the the gradient color is not here. So let me start with this. So after you choose one gradient color, you click on your plus button. Then this is the upside. This is the upside. Where that my pink something is here yeah, is the upside. Click on it. Then you click on this right now. So after you click on that, you click on this this place. So let's check it. Good. That shows color. So what are we going to do right now? What we are going to do right now is to find the color that we want to use and this is actually the color I want to use. Can you see it? This color, this 290000 ash. You can actually see the color code here. So bring this one here. Good. So the next thing now to change this down the second one, you click on it, you click on the search, please. Okay, change the black color. And this is what I want. So I want it to be so let me check. Okay, good. I want this to be like this. Outside. Okay, I tell you it's a bit like this. So let me check it if it's what I want. Good. So this is what I want. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to introduce um the shape I use. Um and the shape I use, the shape I use. So let me search for it. Sorry, I'm still looking for the shape that I use. I don't know the shape here. Good, so this is the shape I was, I was looking for. Sorry for it. So, next thing I should make it big a little bit. Make it a little bit. So, I try to give it another color. And I could not remember the color I gave it. So, I'm coming. Let me change the color code. That I gave it. So let's continue. So I have changed the color that I gave it. So you go to your color, you increase the color, then this is the color I gave it. So this is the color code 694843. So let's go now. So what I'm going to do right now is to bring it on that shape. Click on your plus button, shape again. Then you increase it. Good. Then you actually put it here. So let's bring this one up a little. Okay, good. Let's bring this one up a little. Then bring up this one a little. So you give it another color. So I use orange color for it. This orange is too. Okay, good. This orange is okay for it. So let's make it good. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to bring out the image I use. And this are the image I use. Sorry for this. Click from gallery. So this is the image I use. Um, sorry, image. Good. So this is the image I use. Let me crop the two. Put the mark it. Put it here. Can you see it? So the next one is to bring my my Pepsi bottle. Click um from gallery again. So you so you get with this Pepsi that I hide under this. So this is the Pepsi. So make it small a little bit. Put it here. Then you go to your layer. Then you um you double uh, you long press it. You long press the Pepsi. Then you place it down. 
the back side of it you actually put like this put it a little bit up so make sure the person is not showing the down side Good. actually make it small a little bit Good. Welcome to the photopea.com. So, you don't waste much of our time. The next is to click on your file on the right hand side. You click on open. Right then you click on your file. If you write, so, the file is, is my, is in my, um, the font I use again for it. Plus, my drive is in my Google Drive. So, let me go to my Google Drive and let's check the file if the file is there. So, let's bring out our PSD file out and take the PSD file 3D glass. So, so I we um, have to go to change this one a little bit first. Then you can go ahead and change the font. So let's wait for it to move the fonts. So you give it another test. So I'm hoping I downloaded fonts for it then, but I don't know they can't flatter it for it again. So this is Montessera board. So this is Montessera board. Montessera board is actually one of my fonts. Then you can actually look at this place. So that's good. So this is So the next thing now is to let me from my own layer. So the next thing is good. So so. The next thing you should click on this layer here. Click on it. So you have to use the door. So at the right of the comp. Okay, good. So you see where you, where they write your logo here. You double click the eye. So this is the eye. You have to double double tap it. So let's double tap it. Then give it another font. Good. Then you click on this eye. Reveal logo. So the next thing you should do now is to click on the file. Then you click on the now place. So you make sure they align. So you have to get go for the one that you just saved right so now. Go to the and this is the PNG file that we saved. So, so you have to wait for it to load. So this is so, so you have to drag it. it on that disk now. Drag it. So the next thing I'm going to do right now. No Victor. Next thing I'm going to do right now. Okay, so let's drag that it to be. It's not showing that. It's not showing that. Good. So I think that it should be big. Yeah. Ooh, it's at the middle already. Good. So the next thing is to click your file again. Then you click on save smart object. So let us for it to be set. You can click the radius of it. So it to be the one to write smart object updated. So let me to show that that means your logo has been updated to PSD file as the mockup. So we have to wait for it to do that. Good. Okay, okay. So the next thing to do now is to click on this the glass window. So let's click on it. So let me go back to my edit. I need to edit that. I can know see it. To be so the next thing now is to go to your file. To what's called up there? Uh, then you export. Export as PNG. So I can make it like this. Then you click on your save. So the next thing I'm going to do right now. So the PNG file is ready. You guys have to do it. I wish you best of luck. Don't forget to like, or don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share so as to be getting more updates from me. Thank you. So, the next thing I'm going to do now. So, the next thing I'm going to do right now is to write the name of the um for the restaurant so i gave it junkie junkie yeah junkie junkie bar good so i'm going to put it here Then change the color to black so you can actually see what you are doing on or on on that this thing on the shape. So you're going to change the um the font to um to something. Also, I'm using Adeline Kimberry Avanit to make it unique. Okay, it's not showing. So let me use another font, another stylish font for that place. I use another stylish font that show it well. But so then. Search on that font for it. So that is that's why it has so many fonts, so many stylish fonts for your work. So I'm going for okay, let me go for this pulley. 
I'm in boot. I need to check. Okay, this Asian butterfly is okay for it. I'm feeling it a little bit. Good, chunky pack. Can you see it? So the next thing I'm going to write, I'm going to reduce this. I'm going to reduce um the the full stuff. So I'm going to reduce it a little bit. Also this one. Also this. Good. So the next I'm going to write now, I'm going to copy this game now. Duplicate it. Then I write um buy one. Buy buy one PA. One BA for six dollar and get and get our Wi-Fi Wi-Fi network password for free. So good. So I'm going to make all this to be colorized. Font yeah, put a nice. Good. So next I'm going to do right now. I'm going to make sure. But I want alignment here. I need it to be aligned. So I'm going to work on with this. So let's go. Good. So that's not aligned. So let me use my position key to position to position it where. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to bring out my image from gallery. Um, this is the image I use. <sighs> this. So I'm going to place it here. Good. So what I want to write, let me check what I want to write. So the next thing I got to bring out now is to copy this. Those copy it. Then I have to write um get game the uh, game time schedule game time schedule so I'm going to decrease it a little bit decrease it decrease it Oh yeah, because the defender will put here at the game time schedule. So you leave it at night color. So the next thing we're going to do right now is to write the um the the hour of the schedule of the game. So you double click this and you write let me check. So I'm going to write six dollar for B. For B five dollar for food nine dollar for pitch seven dollar seven dollar um seven dollar for landscaping landscaping so let's say it is okay at this so I'm going to give it I'm going to give it another color which is black color. Okay. So and now I'm going to use left alignment for this. So you go to your align and this is the align. So you click on the align, then you click on the left alignment. Okay. Then you can put it here. So I'm going to use an alignment here to so now work with the alignment. Yeah. Alignment is one of the best things that can happen to your work to make it fun and to also rubbish your work. So let's try to be careful with the alignment. Good. 
So I'm done with this. So there's a mistake here. Time to put the lap front here first. The lap. Good. So I've seen the mistake. So the next thing that you should type the location. So put on the location icon. So where where did I use as location icon? So I use something like this for the location icon. So let me search for it. Good taste. I use this for the location icon. So let's make it smaller. I think you need to make it smaller. So you position it to be aligned with that with those test. So the next thing I'm going to do right now is to copy this this game hour. Then you write um Jota bar um junkie bar. Paper opposite of data. So let me do it this. So let me use my little bit. It's too much. So good. So let me leave something like this. So, I'm going to create black color. Change this color to black color. So, let me look for the black color. Good. Can I change the lock? Can I change the lock this? Good. So, let's go here. So, this one is going to go back. You see, the work is not making sense. So, we have to go back a little bit. So this will take on actually come here. So let me check. So, so you can actually write your under this thing. Under certain um your your contact number on that side. Or oh, should I do it? Okay, so let me go for it. So clear the boxing again. And let me go for contact number. So let me choose this as the contact number. This thing is not black. You can see it very well. You will know it's not black color. So let me change the black color. Let me change it to black color. So go to your color, change it to black color. Change it black color. Then you can put it on. Actually, zoom your work. But I won't be zooming it. There's nothing. There's nothing needed yet to be zoomed. Good. The next one is to copy this, copy this, then double click it, then you write a number. Plus 2, 3, 4, 7, 0, 3, 2, 0, 6, 0, 2, 0. Good. So what I'm going to do right now is so call this here and make sure it is aligned with this charger. You can see it is aligned to it. So the first thing I'm going to do, up, 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 um, I added something, something light to it, is light I added to it. So let's see how it goes. So you increase it a little bit, you increase it. So I don't want that to be on that, that place. Good. Good. So this is how I got everything that you can use in this business. And this is another thing I would like us to do. Okay, it's okay. It's very very okay. So you can actually save your work right now as a project. Save it as a project. Then you save, save your image as PNG, then as very high. So let's go. 
good so we are done with this so don't forget to subscribe to like the channel and to share so as many people will get more updates from the channel as it is so i have a few pieces of luck may god bless you amen good night good luck